I'm Portia here and welcome to my channel. Today I want to show you guys how I made this personalized sticker for my laptop. And you can use it for of course a laptop or anything that you want to decorate. Let's jump right into design space. So first go ahead and make a template uh, for the piece that you want to do. Mine is 14 by nine and a half that represents my laptop cover and select whatever images you want to select. I wanted to kind of represent uh, the flight of thought, you know, so to speak in a little artistic kind of way. So you're gonna go ahead and arrange your images to fit um, into your template. You know, make sure that anything is not like way too big for it. Of course, you can fold the little edges of the stickers down onto the laptop um, cover, but you definitely don't wanna like go beyond that or else you'll end up having a cut. So once you get it shaped the way you like, go ahead and select both images so that you can splice. I wanted to it to really look like the, the butterflies were flowing from the top of the head, which is why I did that. You can delete those pieces that you remove. Now I'm going to weld those, the head and the butterflies together to make it like one piece. And you just saw me select all three of the parts so that I can um, get them centered. Now I'm adding a circle. My circle is one and a quarter by one and a quarter and that's going to represent the HP logo on the back of my laptop. I wanted it to look like the butterflies were flying around. So in order to do that, I had to create that negative space. So once I get the circle completely centered, um, I'm gonna go ahead and splice that out because I don't want that to print. Right, and then go ahead and get rid of those parts because we no longer need those. All right, so now I wanna add the text. It's a very popular one, Maya Angelou. Still, I rise, so I thought that would look um, really pretty with the look that I was going for, so to speak. And I'm gonna ungroup the letters so that I can uh, push them closer together. So I'm gonna just fuss with that for just a, a little bit. And then the S was a little small for my liking, so I wanted to look like a, a capital S. And I like the shape of it, so I wanted to make a statement as well. Group those on back together and let's get it added into our picture here. Now I did want the words to look like they were a part of the butterflies. So you see me kind of attaching it uh, to the butterfly there. And still I rise. So with that, we got to smush together the word rise to make them all fit as one. Make it a little bit bigger. We're going to group them back together and go ahead and incorporate it into our picture as well. So I'm going to get that added to one of the butterfly wings. So to me, it looked a little bit more cohesive when I attached the words to the actual butterfly. So now we're gonna go ahead and get it all selected because I want to attach and weld it together so when it prints out, it prints out as one. We can go ahead and get rid of our template box, check our mat, make sure everything looks nice. From there, we're ready to print. So with this, I am using Cricut Premium Vinyl in Shimmer. It is a little sampler pack, they call it royalty. So it comes with blue, red, and purple. Uh, for what I was looking for, I thought that the shimmer on the blue was super pretty and it took about five minutes to print out. So all done with that. Now the thing about this, you know, once you weed it, I couldn't see the actual lines. It's a dark color and it's a shimmer too. So I went on ahead and used my uh, light pad, which was a really big help. <laughs> it got it got me through the whole process um, a little bit easier. I've seen people use powder here too, but I didn't have to do that because I had the light pad. So, you know, you just go ahead and weed out the parts that you don't uh, need. And this was a pretty easy weed. Now 
All right, done. So let's go ahead and clean the top of the laptop. I like to use rubbing alcohol to make sure there's no residue from fingerprints there or any kind of debris on the laptop because I want to make sure that the vinyl has a nice clean surface to stick to. So go ahead and clean that up really well. All right, let's go ahead and get our transfer tape down onto our decal. I'm using Cricut Strong Grip here. I did make the mistake <laughs> of using regular strength um, transfer tape and I kept peeling it up. I'm like, why is this not coming up? Well, that would be why uh, with this type of vinyl, you definitely need something with a little bit of a stronger grip. So I'm just burnishing it really, really well. Um, to make sure that you know it comes up the way I want it to so get rid of that and from here making sure that surface is nice and clean again um, I'm just going to line up my butterflies around the HP symbol and place it you know how I like it so I'm just gonna burnish it down really well we want those butterflies to stick it is permanent vinyl but of course if i put some effort into it i totally can peel it up but i think that looks pretty good so let's peel that away and this is the end result so if you got any questions concerns emotional outbursts let me know down there in the comments thank you so much for watching don't forget to like and subscribe until next time peace